kahit may picos ka, kahit may apas ka, kahit sabihan pa ng kahit anong doktor na hindi ka mabubuntis, walang imposible sa Diyos. Hi, I'm Siti Navarro Ramirez. I am a mother of um, upcoming two, upcoming two talaga. <laughs> a toddler na two and a half um, years old and I'm currently 18, oh, sorry, 19 weeks along. And this is my mommy diary. You know, the things that happen to me or to our lives, especially at this point when we really need hope, naisip ko, baka makapagpigay ng pag-asa sa iba na, na nag-aantay din sila ng kanilang sariling miracle babies. See, I have existing uh, conditions that make it uh, hard for me to conceive. And even on the first pregnancy ko, we really consider it a miracle kasi nga I had because which is polycystic ovarian syndrome um sa akin ang ang symptoms niya is, is hindi ko ma-pinpoint yung exact time of ovulation ko although i do get my monthly period but it has really made conceiving difficult and uh when when i when we found out on my first pregnancy uh sa first pregnancy ko na pregnant nga ako doon din namin nalaman na, that i also had apas apas is Uh, anti-phospholipid antibody syndrome. Kami siyang different categories and nag-qualify ako dun sa yung nag-qualify ako dun sa category na um my my blood is not uh matawag nito. It's not malabnaw enough. It's not thin enough that makes it conducive for my baby to survive. So, nan pag alam na namin during the course of my first pregnancy na um delayed yung bata ng two weeks. So, niresetahan ako ng mga blood thinners and I had to up my protein intake para mahabol ko yung gestational weight ng anak ko. And um having APAS, uh, I said I qualified for three categories, no? Um the other category was I didn't sorry if I getting medical but Uh, i-explain ko na para tapos na kasi the same conditions I had with my first pregnancy are the same that we are um, facing now. So, uh, uh, the, the, the second category is wala akong antibodies. Wala, wala akong blocking antibodies that make it possible for my fetus to survive. So, meaning nun, um, nag, pag nagko-conceive, hindi siya na recognize yung fetus na uh, parang ano siya uh, parang enemy siya ng katawan ng katawan ko or katawan ng babae so parang pinapatay ng sarili kong immune system yung yung baby so yun yung um, second category that I qualified for which I took um, probiotics for yun yung nireseta sa akin sa akin ng aking immunologist And then the third category that I qualified for, medyo elevated yung acting um, natural killer cells. Meron tayong ganun sa ating blood component. Uh, and for that naman, parang hindi na siya in-address ng immunologist ko before kasi parang wait and see mode siya. Eh. So pag nagkaroon ka pa ng hemorrhage, i-address natin yan. But kung wala, kung mawala yung hemorrhage, That means that your body is working against this condition. So, medyo tricky siya, but all in all, it's just a condition called APAS, that there are five categories. And aside from APAS, there are even other reproductive um, immuno disorders that prevent a woman from getting pregnant or that prevent a woman from having a successful pregnancy. So, sa nakatawid, um, kung may picos ka, hirap ka ng mabuntis. Kung may apas ka, hirap ka ng mabuntis, hirap, mahihirapan din na mag-survive yung baby. 
So these two conditions that we face in my first pregnancy um, were also the same that we are facing now. So, meaning, hindi talaga namin in-expect na magbubuntis kami ng asawa ko. We uh, actually made in Bacolod yung aming baby ngayon. And um, since miracle baby yung first child namin, we also consider our second child a miracle baby. And that's why uh, I said na, okay, ayoko na talaga sana itong sabihin pa. Kasi para alam mo yung ayoko lang ng ano, extra attention. <laughs> Um, but after I posted that on my Instagram, uh, and daming, and daming nag sabi na, uh, thank you for this. We are waiting for our own time. We are trusting in the Lord. And uh, also when I, I wrote about my experience with the first pregnancy with regards to APAS, madami din yung nagme-message sa akin na, uh, Miss City, please pray for us. We are trying. Ganyan, ganyan. And then I would say, uh, kapit lang. Kasi yun din yung Kaya alam ko talaga yung pinagdaanan nila kasi pinag- Sorry, Freddy Hummels. Kasi pinagdaanan ko din yun yung every month nag-aantay ka ng pabuntis ka tapos hindi nangyayari. Tapos you question yourself why your body is failing you. And then until I came to that point na I just really trusted the Lord and His timing and na-surprise nga kami dun sa first pregnancy namin. The same time na-surprise kami ngayon. So this is why um That was why I shared uh, our story. It's to give hope to others na kahit may picos ka, kahit may apas ka, kahit sabihan pa ng kahit anong doktor na hindi ka mabubuntis, walang imposible sa Diyos. Yun. Um, when I confirmed via ultrasound at around four weeks that I, that I conceived, may nakita naman si OB na malaking ovarian cyst. So, syempre, na, na, na-shock, na-shock ako kasi, yun, alam mo yung pupunta ka ng, ng, ng doktor and actually sa panahon ngayon, hindi, hindi ka nga pwedeng may kasama sa loob eh. Talagang whatever the doctor tells you, it's just you who's gonna be on the receiving end. So, I went there, I, I just wanted, wanted to confirm my pregnancy. It was the day of my husband's birthday because I wanted to surprise and sabi ko yun yung surprise ko sa iyo. Yun yung magiging surprise ko na uh magbibigay ko ako ng maliit na na ito, gift box. Doon ko ilalagay yung uh, sonogram kasi na happy birthday you're going to be a daddy again. Chaba 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 chaba. Sana ko maganda plano sa utak ko pagdating dun sa sa doktor ko my goodness. Sabi niya, "Yeah, yeah, a big sis." And um nung una Minomonitor lang siya until it, yung itsura niya, ve, parang very suspicious siya for cancer. So, the so wait and see, wait and see mo. Kami wait and see. Uh, consult kami sa iba for, for uh, a, a guy ni Om ko naman for second opinion. And um, succeeding um, ultrasound, ganyan-ganyan. Dami ultrasound para tingnan kung ano yung behavior, lumalaki ba siya, ganun pa rin ba yung itsura niya, mukha pa rin ba siya anomalous, ganyan. So, hanggang sa, um, on my 11th week, yeah, um, sabi talaga nung OB ko, na, nag-consult din siya with other uh, doctors, and sabi na, it, 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 it doesn't look safe, na iwan lang siya doon. Kasi number one, lumalaki siya. And number two, it really looked like it was cancerous. And na-echo siya nung second opinion na, na tinake namin na sabi nga nung sabi nung uh, sonologist sa akin na it's either a dermoid cyst na which is uh, harmless but it's either a dermoid cyst na benign that looks like it's malignant or it's malignant. So, ayun na naman yung mga mga um, yung pregnant women ngayon at this time talaga, parang whatever, yun nga, whatever news that you get, ikaw lang talaga muna yung makakarinig. Wala kang kasawa sa tabi mo na mahawakan muna. 
wala. So, tanggapin mo lang yun. And then, um, so we decided because nag-concur yung dalawang opinions, we decided na, so let's, let's take it out because it's it's what the doctors, our doctor said. It's, it's um, uh, wiser to take it out now na medyo maliit pa yung chan ko than to wait na malaki na yung chan ko or mas lumaki pa yung sis. Ganyan. So in my 13th week, nagpa pa surgery kami. It was supposed to be a laparoscopic surgery na, alam mo yung laparoscopic, ganyan lang yun eh. Um, pero, ang nangyari, nung sinilip, hindi kaya. <laughs> Kailangan, ganyan, hanggang sa lumaki na lumaki. So, yung CS ko dati na hiwa, ganyan, yung hiwa ko ngayon, mga ganyan siya. Kahaba. But, thank God, um, pag tanggal nila yung sis, it turned out to be a benign dermoid cyst. So, ha, pwede pala na ganyan kahaba yung, yung hiwa mo. Na okay si baby, tapos yung painkiller mo para sa ito mo lang, kaya siya. Masakit, pero one week lang. So, maa-amaze ka pa din sa, sa kakayahan ng human body to recuperate. Um, amazed din ako siyempre sa fighting spirit ng, ng baby ko. Yung mga fighter talaga siya. <laughs> yung mga kondisyon ng katawan ko that, that really doesn't make it please, alam mo yun, alam mo yun, viable for them. They're fighting against it. And and again, um, the, the Lord, yung, yun yung purposes niya for me. Eh. And so, ba, we hang on to faith. And uh, laban, laban lang. Kami ng asawa ko, okay, laban lang, laban lang. So, yan. Tawa na Diyos. Binay na mo siya. So, yan. Alam mo talaga, yung one of the lessons that the Lord has in, parang imprinted on me on this second pregnancy is so you can have men plans for your life, for yourself. Siya lang talaga yung masusunod.